The ocean, a shimmering blue expanse, sunlight dances upon its restless surface. Beneath lies a world of profound wonder. Life thrives here in countless beautiful forms. Coral gardens bloom with vibrant living color. Fish dart in shimmering well-ordered schools. A delicate balance perfected over vast millennia. Off the coast of Florida the seabed stretched, a gentle, sandy slope towards the deep abyss. Sea turtles, old mariners glided with serene grace. Manatees, gentle giants grazed on lush seagrass beds, playful dolphins leaped and danced in the warm currents. This was a vital nursery, a rich hunting ground, a cherished home. Life here was abundant, diverse, and wonderfully interconnected. Sunlight filtered down through the clear blue water, it illuminated this hidden underwater paradise. Rays of light pierced the depths like searchlights. Then, the unthinkable happened. It occurred without any prior warning. A deep tremor, far beneath the ocean waves. Not an earthquake that would be felt on land, something far more localized yet utterly immense. The ocean floor, off Florida's familiar coast, began to shift. A silent, terrifying transformation was suddenly underway. The ancient bedrock groaned under an unimaginable, hidden stress. Suddenly, a truly vast section of the seabed gave way. It simply disappeared, vanished into the dark unknown. An area many miles wide plunged into utter blackness. The water above churned with incredible violent force, a maelstrom of sand, rock, and swirling debris. The ocean itself seemed to gasp, to recoil in shock. The familiar mapped contours of the seabed were gone, replaced by an unfathomable, terrifying void below. Where vibrant coral reefs once stood, teeming with life, now, only a gaping dark maw remained. A chasm of terrifying unknown depth. The clear sunlit waters rapidly turned murky and opaque. A thick choking soup of displaced sediment filled the water. Visibility dropped to almost zero in an instant. The familiar landmarks of this underwater world were obliterated, swallowed whole by the newly formed silent abyss. Marine life, moments before so abundant and active, vanished. Fish, turtles, crustaceans all were gone, swept away into the darkness or buried under tons of debris. Those not immediately crushed were hopelessly disoriented, lost in a changed, hostile and alien world. The delicate, intricate web of life here was torn apart. An eerie, unnatural silence descended upon the depths. The vibrant chorus of the reef was no more. The edges of this new chasm were sheer, unstable cliffs. Raw, freshly broken rock formed these precipices. Waterfalls of sand and mud cascaded constantly down. The new landscape was alien, desolate and forbidding. A scene of utter, complete devastation unfolded. Like a raw, open wound on the hidden face of our planet. The sheer scale of it was difficult to comprehend. This was sudden, violent obliteration of the seabed. Unveiling the catastrophe discovery and scale. The very first signs were subtle, yet deeply alarming. On land, vigilant scientists monitored their instruments. Seismometers registered unusual, puzzling tremors from the region. Not a typical earthquake signature, this was different. Something else, something deep within the earth. Hydrophone arrays, always listening to the ocean sounds, picked up a strange, prolonged and powerful roar, a low-frequency rumble of immense, terrifying power. Sonar systems soon began painting an impossible picture. Research vessels, routinely mapping the seabed nearby, reported inexplicable, startling anomalies in their readings. Their screens showed a vast, uncharted, deep depression. Where detailed maps once showed a gentle, known slope, now there was simply nothing or rather something new. Echoes returned from depths far greater than ever recorded. The incoming data was at first simply unbelievable. The collapse occurred approximately 70 miles offshore, from the southeastern coast of Florida. A region long known for its rich marine biodiversity. The chasm itself measured an astonishing five miles across. Its depth plunged nearly two miles deeper than before, deeper than the surrounding undisturbed seabed. An area larger than some entire cities had vanished. The volume of displaced material was truly staggering. Ripples of destruction ecological and human toll. The ecological impact was immediate and utterly devastating. Entire complex habitats were wiped out in an instant. Coral reefs that had taken centuries to grow were gone. Seagrass beds, vital for manatees and turtles, lay buried. Countless species lost their homes, their feeding grounds, their very lives were extinguished in moments. The intricate food web, so carefully balanced, was shattered. A biological desert now replaced a vibrant living oasis. The shockwaves of this event spread far and wide, through the delicate marine ecosystem of the region. 
fish populations reliant on the collapsed area faced starvation. Ancient migratory routes were suddenly, violently disrupted. Larger predators like sharks and dolphins lost vital hunting grounds. The delicate balance of the entire region was thrown into chaos. The ocean's capacity to support life here was severely diminished. Recovery, if it is ever possible, will take centuries. Coastal communities in Florida soon felt the repercussions. Fisheries dependent on healthy offshore ecosystems faced ruin. The livelihoods of many hardworking people were threatened. The collapse also triggered localized tsunamis, small yet unsettling. They served as a stark, unwelcome reminder of the power unleashed. Seeking answers, expert insights, and theories. Geologists around the world were utterly stunned by the news. Oceanographers scrambled frantically to gather all available data. Marine biologists mourned the immense ecological devastation. Experts from many nations converged upon the problem. Their urgent task to understand this unthinkable event. How could such a vast section of seabed simply collapse? The event defied all easy, immediate explanation. It pushed the known boundaries of geological science. One leading theory points to Florida's unique underlying geology. The state sits upon a massive limestone platform. This type of rock is prone to gradual dissolution, creating vast underground caverns and complex cave systems. This is known as karst topography, seen on land too. Over millennia, seawater could have weakened these structures. Eventually the roof of a massive underwater cave gave way, a catastrophic sinkhole but on an unimaginable oceanic scale. Another compelling theory focuses on methane hydrates. These are curious, ice-like deposits of methane gas, trapped within frozen water molecules in deep-sea sediments. They remain stable under conditions of high pressure, and the very low temperatures found in the deep ocean. If these hydrates destabilize, perhaps due to warming waters or even subtle seismic activity, they can release gas rapidly. This sudden release could liquefy sediments, triggering a landslide. A call from the deep urgency and respect. This catastrophic collapse off Florida's coast is a stark message, a profound and urgent message from the deep ocean. It challenges our comfortable perception of the sea as a stable, predictable, and unchanging realm. It reveals the immense geological forces constantly at play beneath the restless surface of the waves we know. Forces that can reshape our planet in an instant. There is still so much we simply do not know. The event underscores the urgent, pressing need. For much more extensive scientific investigation of our oceans, we must map our vast seabeds with far greater detail. We must monitor deep sea geological activity more closely. We need to understand the complex processes that govern stability. Research into karst formations and methane hydrates must be prioritized. Our technology must advance to meet this daunting challenge. The ocean's deepest secrets are vital to our own survival. We must approach the ocean with a newfound, deep respect. Awe for its breathtaking beauty, yes, that is natural, but also for its raw, untamed and formidable power. It is not merely a resource to be endlessly exploited. It is a dynamic, incredibly complex and interconnected system, capable of sudden, dramatic and far-reaching change.